Hey guys, I was making uh, a quick little uh, short, I guess, or just some kind of a uh, animation experiment of this uh, robot just kind of rolling into stage and, you know, saying like a little joke. But uh, I think this is a good opportunity to maybe show how, um, what it would take to import an audio clip into uh, Maya. So for example, in this case, I don't only really have lip syncing, but let's say I had the lip syncing uh, character and maybe I have a voice file that I need to make sure that it uh, perfectly aligns with the animation of the character or maybe maybe he is you know lip syncing and you want to make sure that you're doing blend shapes and you are creating his mouth or facial expressions and they have to line up with an audio file how do you do it well so it's really simple all you do is just drag your file in so for example in my case I have this uh, I have three different files right so for example let's say I'm gonna grab this .mp3, and you can do a uh, .wav file or .mp3 file. So I'm just gonna drag this right into my viewport, and as soon as I do, you can see that the audio file uh, shows up right there in the beginning of my uh, keyframes, right? So it's uh, right now it's going from uh, minus five to uh, about 90, right? And I'm playing this at 30 frames per second. So the important thing uh, to keep in mind is when you importing an audio file, as long as your frame rate in Maya matches the one that you are using inside your video editing program, like Adobe Premiere, for example, as long as that matches, your animation uh, will also match with the timing of your audio file. So that's really important, right? So it, let's see, um, what are a couple uh, options we have once we drag our file in? Well, one of the things you could do is if you right click um, on your timeline, you can go to the audio section. And then here there's a few different options you can do. For example, you can control the alignment of your audio file. So right now it's centered. For example, if I say top, you can see that it changes the way it looks. And maybe that could be useful if you are paying close attention to maybe some of the spikes for uh, for the sound, right? But the most important thing that I wanted to show is how do you, what happens if you want to move this um, around? How do you move this uh, audio file into a different position? Maybe I want this audio file to, you know, start playing maybe, let's say for example on frame 125, right? How do I move it? So that is kind of the purpose of this video. So to do this, all you need to do is you just right click, uh, again go to audio, and then find your clip. The name of uh, my clip is called Robot uh, SFX, Sound Effects. And if you click on this little uh, Options button, right, you can see that in the Attribute Editor, you have something called um, Audio Attributes Offset. And in here is where I can control my offset. So let's say I wanna go, uh, I want it to start at frame 125. So I just, um, in here I can just type in 125 and press Enter. And you can see how this is uh, it moved over, right? So now the audio file will play uh, at frame 125. So that's pretty much it. There's not much more to it. If you have multiple files, you can drag as many as you want. And if you um, go into your audio, you can um, control which one you're editing or moving, and they'll, they'll all just be listed right here. All right, so thanks for watching. I hope you find this helpful, and I'll see you next video.